Today we're going to take a look at the WISE Video Doorbell V2. It's a wired video doorbell that works with your existing doorbell wires. I know that your time is important to you, so here is a list of all the topics we will be covering today. Of course, timestamp for each topic is available in the description down below. The WISECAM Video Doorbell V2 have a video resolution of 2K 2048x1536. Frame rate during the day is 20 frames per second. At night, you get 15 frames per second. The field of view vertically is 103 degrees and horizontally 135 degrees. On the side, there's a micro SD card slot, which allows you to record 24 7 or motion activated events only. It will work with your existing doorbell wires. However, if you don't have wires for a doorbell, you can still take advantage of this doorbell by using one of these that you can plug into a regular outlet. I'll show you how to do that later in the video. There's two-way talk and motion activated voice deterrence. Hi, you are currently being recorded. And three to six seconds of pre-roll recording. Since we do not have existing doorbell wires, that also means we do not have a chime for this doorbell. That's where smart integration will come into play. Because it's compatible with Amazon Alexa, I was able to set up a routine that whenever someone rings my doorbell, it will then notify me on all my Echo Shows and my Echo Dot. Someone is at your front door. Here's what you get inside the box. A security sticker, chime controller, three wire caps, two extension wires, two long screws and two short screws, two wall anchors, that's all included in this clear bag here, a wall plate, a angle wedge, a quick start guide, and the video doorbell. In my installation, I will be utilizing the angle wedge because I want my doorbell to tilt to the right just a bit. Also, this surface block, it's relatively soft, so there were no need for me to pre-drill holes for the screws. Making sure that the angle wedge was straight, I inserted one of the long screws in the top and a second one in the bottom. Grab the mountain bracket and attach it to the angle wedge. Utilize the shorter screws. Make sure that the arrow is pointing up. Now, if you're like me and you don't have existing doorbell wires, you can go ahead and purchase one of these from off of Amazon or online. If you need it to be longer, you can purchase a extension wire just like this one here. All you have to do is find the outlet, plug it in, and then route the wire to your doorbell. Screw the wires into the terminals on the back of the doorbell. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which terminal. Then push your doorbell up against the mounting bracket and pull down to secure it. Okay, it's time to get it set up. Open up the WISE app and go to the plus button in the top left corner. Go to add device, then camera, video doorbell V2, Skip the installation tutorial, tap next, then press the setup button in the back of the doorbell. Enter your Wi-Fi details, then scan the QR code on your phone with your camera. Setup completed. Name your device and that's it. This is what the doorbell looks like at night with infrared night vision on. This is how it looks in the morning with the sun coming up. And this is how it looks in the afternoon. Do I sound clear? Yeah. I know. Yeah, you sound clear. Seems as if there's a delay. I can hear you and then your mouth is moving after. Okay, so there's a big delay. It's about 30 seconds, I would say. Not too long, but there is a delay. You sound low on my end. Okay, let's do a test and find out how quick you will receive the notification when someone rings your doorbell. And for testing purposes, my Wi-Fi is off just in case you're away from home. Let's do some smart AI testing. The doorbell motion zones is set up to only record if motion is detected within my gates. And my notifications is set up to only notify me if that motion happens to be a person.
Let's repeat the test, except this time we'll have all the boxes checked for notification. One problem I'm having is that the vertical field of view sucks. Basically, from the camera view, you can't tell that there's a package at the door. But look at where it is and look at where the camera is. The camera is right there. The package is right there. But yet still, you cannot tell that it's there. Although you can utilize a micro SD card for local storage, in order to take advantage of the smart AI detection features such as pets, packages, and person, you do need to subscribe to Cam Plus. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.